Good evening. I believe it's that time for the maid of honor to make her speech to the newlyweds. Well, first off, I'd just like to thank all of you for coming and helping us celebrate these two finally making it down the aisle. We all know it's been a long journey. Secondly, Troy had 10 years to escape this family. You're not binded to this crazy woman and her even crazier family. So death do you part. I mean this in the best sense. Lord, help you. So as I was writing my speech, I was trying to remember the first time that I remember meeting Troy. And my first memory popped into my head. And it was, wow, he's definitely taller than any guy Danny has ever dated. And secondly, I was floored because Mother already knew of him and approved of him, and Danny didn't run the other direction screaming. So I kind of thought we might be onto something. Well, as time passed, I watched the relationship grow. I quickly realized that Danny had met her match. Troy could not only make her laugh at the drop of a hat, he helped her with tough decisions, calmed her down when she was upset or mad, laughed at her jokes even though they weren't that funny, but he became, most importantly, he became a father figure he didn't have to be. Not only was Troy all of the previous things that I, not only was Troy all the previous things that I have said, he was also very persistent. You see, me and Danny have always been a little finicky about the word marriage because other than our grandparents, happily ever afters don't happen that often. So we always decided if we were ever going to get married, we were only going to do it once. Well, luckily, Troy knew that because he proposed more than once. And Danny obviously declined more than once. However, he was not only persistent, he was smart and knew my sister very well because each time he proposed, the diamond got an upgrade. Well, when we, me and my mom got that call, and Danny told us that she was getting married. I was really excited for her, but at the exact same time, I was a little sad and jealous because I realized that the plan for me and my sister that I had had was never gonna be followed through. You see, since me and Danny always had the same thoughts on marriage, I kinda always thought we would grow old together and become those two old ladies who never quite grew up. And summer, of course, would become our favorite season because it would make harassing the neighborhood kids that much easier. Well, I guess it's okay that Troy is taking over. Because we get to harass him now. You see, Danny, you are my best friend. Whenever I get good news or bad news, I want to call you first. And many people think that's surprising because we're not, we don't have the same dads or we're not blood sisters. But I think it's normal because we're actually closer and get along way better than many sisters I actually know. You see, you own the biggest part of my heart because you're strong, smart, funny, successful, independent, loving, an amazing mother, sister, and daughter. And I would add graceful in there, but we all know I would be lying. See, I don't think I ever told you this, but when I wrote my entrance essay to college, I wrote about you. The topic was, pick someone who has been influential in your life or that you think of as your role model, and that is you. You have overcome so many adversities and obstacles in your life and have done it with a really loud, really hard laugh, and all of you know which one I'm talking about. And yet, no matter how many times you get knocked down, it seems like it's never happened. So I guess what I'm really trying to get at is that if I have to let you grow old with someone other than me, I would want it to be Troy. I mean, you both have done an amazing job of raising two boys all by yourselves, and you all both already survived a decade together. I'm thinking that a few more decades are gonna be a walk in the park for y'all. So I guess in my closing, I'd like to say be good to one another, and Troy, don't be afraid to give her too hard of a time. After all, she does have a little baker blood in her. I love you both.
congratulations, mr. and mrs. boydston.